ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ದಿ ಕಾರ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಟರಿ ಡೆಕ್ಲಿನೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ ಐ ಟುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಇಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಡನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ದಿ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಡೆಕ್ಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರಗಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅಪ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಟು ಫೈನಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಂಟೈಲಿ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಅಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜಿ ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾವು ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡೆಕ್ಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯೂರಿಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಚೆಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಜೂಪಿಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟನ್ಸ್ ಡೆಕ್ಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಕ್ಯೂರಿಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಐ ಟುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಎ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಸೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಿಡ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಟು ಕವರ್ ಸೇ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೂಪಿಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಸಿಬ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಪರ್ ಆ್ಯಪ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಲೆಸರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪುಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ what we will do today is just uh, on explanation on the we, uh, we last time in my last video i thought latitude and declination are the same but it's not necessarily the case declination is slightly a change in calculation because the reference point is different so it's on, based upon the equatorial position so i have modified that so we have latitude separately and declination also separately in excel now so i will tell you how these are calculated in excel uh, and how we can do it for multiple planets like saturn or jupiter or even uh, yeah, even the uh, outer planets or inner planets whatever it be and how do we relate it to the financial markets so i will also touch upon how we collect the data and how we put it in excel uh, and then how do we do the analysis and get the correlations uh, and uh, there are uh, some notable points we'll come back to it later let me maybe take up uh, this is a five years uh, declination and other factors are the speed etc this is for five years why took the stock prices so i title this way so the excel should be familiar to you because we presented it last time only change is in addition to the column called latitude and latitude speed and all we have a separate column for declination now last time i put latitude to be the same as declination some one subscriber pointed out that uh, moon's declination uh, range is totally different from what we are getting in the excel and latitude and declination are uh, very much the uh, indicate the same but the declination reference point is different so they are related but not exactly the same so you will get a different number for declination if you use the equatorial plane the calculation takes into account that so what essentially it takes in is the time of birth uh, basically if it is going to be for uh, a, a birth time calculation the time zone and of course what inams i are going to use will tell you the declination there so this portion i have earmarked for the birth time whereas in case you want it for transits you can put any date here i put uh, basically you give the month day and year and this is date is calculated as uh, month day and year and at 315 when the stock prices close i evaluate the declination of the planets from the same formula as is used here and this is basically a representation in uh, degree for dms format and uh, speed also i have pulled uh, of course i'm not using it for uh, analysis today so one can enter different uh, data here if you want that of the sun you just enter the sun and these numbers change and similarly for uh, any of the planets you can get the see declination of the moon because it's going to vary every 
quickly 1398 and all that so very quickly it will vary that of mars and the graph here will tell you the zero line so north of the zero line as we already saw uh, some planets would be above the zero line means it is north below the zero line it is south so the planet essentially would not only go from east to west in settings on a daily basis but over a period just like the surya moves even north to south from capricorn to cancer uh, uh, its uh, declination is a movement in the other plane so it is going to be horizontal between north and south also so that is captured here and our idea is to check if this has any correlation with stock prices so that curiosity came up so i started it was uh, yeah suggested by one of our friends in the group here and we took up uh, data in this case uh, the three banks data spi hdfc and icici the data for uh, five years of the opening the low i and the close uh, basically i'm using only the closing time with the 315 i have taken as time uh, what is the stock price for this uh and uh, this graha declination is i am pulling it from this sheet so that i can plot it together here and also get some correlation matrices so you see uh, this is for uh, mars you doesn't seem to be working well for mars suppose you if you take uh, for say saturn i think i am putting the calculations here the uh, saturn's movement is this way it is always south but it is going slightly north i mean not uh, trending towards north and then coming south so during this period it has been fully in the south uh, and the correlation between declination and uh, the planets uh, actually got the uh, sbi's stock price is around 0.804 but if you want to check uh, somewhat the trend if it is going to increase here also it is increasing but this is not the way to basically match these things fairly some correlation seems to be in order uh, but at a longer duration uh, and when we check for uh, let us see for the other banks also the other banks also this seems to be some trend going up uh, and here also seems to be Uh, some uh, trace of a correlation and the correlation is fairly seems to be 0.8 0.7 3 and 0.87 this doesn't mean that it is a predictive uh, way but uh, some correlation is that does them does not mean there is a causation or anything uh, seems to be a fairly good correlation for this time frame uh, uh, how do i pull this data is uh, i essentially went to oh, let me check uh, i think i went to youtube finance historical data uh, and then asked for the bank of uh, interest and then you can from the historical data you can basically Uh, either daily or monthly say monthly you pull the data for say five years or max so this you can pull and download and get the data there so that's the idea here and seems to be a good good correlation for saturn with spi and even icici there is a good correlation and if you go to v in jupiter so the graph automatically changes and the correlations are separately calculated so seems to be fairly even good here stfc or maybe the volumes are low so it's not basically matching so the this is for a short period of 5 years but uh, we might have to do it for the entire stretch of a cycle at multiple cycles of the planets then only it might make some sense so we took up uh, the declination of uh, uh max number of years that i showed you that we can pull data for and that uh, it pulls 
data but from 1996 for nearly 1996 to current time so essentially how many years it's so maybe 26 27 years uh, more than that perhaps yeah now maybe yeah 27 years and uh, here the correlation is weakening too much when you see the graph uh, the thing is when there is a rise here there seems to be a rise there and when there is a rise here there seems to be a rise here this is for jupiter and when there is a rise and fall here the overall the entire cycle doesn't seem to represent uh, anything much so so as we see here in the cycle we are talking about jupiter cycle now jupiter has already gone through two cycles because it takes 11 years to pass through one cycle and doesn't seem to be very strongly correlating with the stock prices in the rising time it seems to fairly go well here also rising seems to be going well but not uh, the entire cycle so let us see how saturn fares so this saturn has not done multiple cycles it has done just about a cycle so and correlation seems to be better 0.746 uh, compared to jupiter uh, uh, doesn't seem when this is decreasing it is increasing so either way it should be predictive that's all doesn't seem to hold well because when this is increasing this is still increasing so doesn't seem to correlate well here as well so depending upon uh, the total span of uh, the time frame the correlations are breaking so maybe and this is essentially a tool for you to play with you can pull multiple planets and check uh, that of surya chandra mercury venus what correlates better because this will be oscillating to uh, let us see uh, there is doesn't seem to be correlating well at all here Uh, so the time span let us see here does it make sense to mercury is going through multiple cycles and doesn't seem to do much here so in essence we have a tool but uh, we can't be completely be sure of it so what i am concluding here is the time span uh, can indeed have an impact on the correlation analysis so correlation since it measures the strength and direction of the relationship between the two variables depending on the time span in fact you are getting the directions differently uh, and this is going to vary with time and various factors of course uh, maybe the relationship not only with one single planet's declination maybe the relationship uh, for say spi is with uh, both jupiter and mars and saturn and all together together weighted uh, in some fashion so it might perhaps require a regression analysis and then uh, maybe if it those regression holds good for multiple cycles is what we have to check but there seems to be some at least this tool would help you to do that so when we ex- examine a short time span there seems to be higher chance of observing a strong correlation maybe by chance or uh, maybe they are really uh, related uh, but this uh, short time correlation is not necessarily doesn't persist over a longer time span so maybe the fluctuations that could impact the correlations my feeling is the rishis cannot be wrong anyway they jupiter is connected with banks and there seems to be a strong connection with jupiter uh, maybe at a longer time span maybe there is a weighted residual weighted uh, averaging that has to be done in uh, terms of uh, uh, regressing this uh, relationship uh, we might have to do it at a broader context of uh, more data points maybe that will reveal uh, trends and cycles so that is still to be done from our side uh, and it's not very easy to interpret this correlations uh, just uh, by the think of I mean, it, this is only a introductory uh, submission of these excel files to you as a tool you can also play around and uh, maybe bring out some new insights because declination might alone not be 
the maybe indicative of the stock prices that could be the tithi vara nakshatras uh, maybe the rashis in which these uh, planets are traveling during that time maybe it's an umpteen number of factors that astrology might bring in but uh, declaration might uh, feeling is a strong factor so here with i submit this excel file to you for you to play around maybe bring out some pearl out of it uh, or uh, give your suggestions on what further can be done on it yeah thank you very much